Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Divine Elements Air, and I'm going to stamp it with the Pen Pay Gold Stamping Polish. I've started off with Melteats Formula 2, and here is Divine Elements Air, the purple, beautiful, shimmery goodness. We're going to go in with a coat of this. It's pretty sheer on the first coat, but, you know, I don't hold that against polishes when they end up being just gorgeous. And I'm telling you, I'm having a little trouble with this handle on this one. The, the cap is, you know, skinny like a medicine bottle cap, and the wand is so long. So you got to be careful about polish dripping down that stem. But it's something you can get used to, because I did. <laughs> I'm going to go in here with Woody and do a little bit of cleanup real quick. So there we go with coat number one. And here is our second coat of air. I love it. It's almost magical. It's just one of those, and it's just, it's purple, but it's got that pink flash going on in it that just sings to me. Purple and pink. Purple and pink together? Yes. Love them. Love them together. I am going to do a third coat. Um, depending on what you're planning on doing on top of it, you might get away with two. But I wanted three because I wanted pretty much full opacity. I am topping this with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat before I do some stamping. Just a nice seal of that, you know, that base polish. Also, I want to get it to dry down faster so that I don't mess it up when I do my stamping. Very blingy. So I'll be using this Ajibus Plate EJB07 today. I am really enjoying these plates. I've got my liquid latex on. There we go. And I'll be using my little Conad stamper and scraper. And here's the Pen Pay Special Stamping Polish 07. And this one is really cute. I'll have a link down below. I love some gold stamping polish. You guys know I love me some gold stamping polish. And this one came from Banggood. So I will leave a link for Banggood down below. Lily Young sent this to me for review. So I wanted to make sure that I did do a, a nail art with it without forgetting, because you know sometimes I'm goofy like that. But I really do appreciate Lily from Banggood sending this to me so that I could demo it. I go through quite a bit of gold, silver, black, and white stamp and polish. Even though I try to use other colors, I still do use those four colors a lot and this one's a really good one now it might not have been the best choice over this purple bling tastic shimmery goodness but I really do think it's a very very fine quality gold stamp and polish so there we go got some stamping going on and I like the little bottles I like the shape of them I like the brush on them I, th I think that they're you know for the price they're definitely a good deal and I'm going to use these skinny, long images. I'm just going to kind of do like up by my cuticle with them. Just to kind of tie them into the full image nails. And there we go. And I just thought this look went really well together. You know, you got some that are just, you know, got a lot going on. And then some that are just kind of more minimalistic. I'm going to do some cleanup here with my cleanup brush and some acetone. You could use nail polish remover. You don't have to use acetone. I just prefer to, you know, go in quick and get it done. <laughs> that camera's freaking out between the lights. I'll be using that Bundle Monster Smudge Free Top Coat again. Um, I'm glad I'm remembering to use it. I am not smearing my stamping. And then I top it with some posh. Draw y'all in here a little bit so you can see. Hang on just a second. It'll get more clear. Come on. Come on, camera. There we go. There it is. But when I've got so much bling and shine and everything going on, it's just that camera cannot keep up. So there it is. There's my manicure. I hope you liked it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. I always love hearing from you. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. 
talk to you soon. Bye.